Phase one of Pavilion K is going up fast. Phase two and three of the Jewish General Hospital's expansion will now follow, thanks to a shot in the arm from the Quebec government, $300 million. We will be able to provide access to critical care much better than we could before. That investment buys a lot. 18 new operating rooms in ICU, a coronary unit, birthing center, medical imaging and more, as well as the new emergency room under construction now. Each area will be better. It will be private rooms where people will, kept, will keep their privacy, their dignity. Everything has been designed efficiently to be patient-centered. At the same time to give a staff satisfaction that is very crucial for good patient care. Modernizing is not a luxury but a necessity, says Health Minister Yves Bolduc. At one moment in the history, we're going to have a new pandemic. We don't know when, but we know that it's going to happen. And more, we have new installation, like to have only private beds or semi-private beds. It's going to be easier to, to give the treatment and to be to do prevention. We will be able to accept the largest number of patients that get sick from this pandemic. Updating all our hospitals may be optimal, but it's costly. There are just so many infrastructure projects going on right now in Montreal, both above and underground. Yet Finance Minister Raymond Bachand insists Quebec can afford them all. Rating agencies have confirmed their ratings, and because basically they're satisfied and confident in their plan to return to a balanced budget and controlling the debt. While the government works on developing a healthy economy, at least the Jewish general now knows, it will soon have a cutting-edge facility to help them develop a healthy population. Cindy Sherwin, CTV News.